Wendy, my name is Kelsey, and welcome to my 200 square foot rent stabilized flex two bedroom New York City apartment. Come on in. Right now, we are standing in the salon, also known as Club Vile. This room has been inspired by gay discos everywhere, especially surrounding the land that we currently live on. It's also been inspired by the greats like Madonna, RuPaul, um, that bartender at Flaming Saddles down the block. We call it Club Vile because of this really cool sign that Tommy found at a thrift store. Uh, it actually originally spelled out live, but we thought vile represented us more accurately. So um, we've, we've dubbed it Club Vile. I actually designed and built this credenza with my own two hands back when I was in college. And its main purpose is to hide our alcohol addiction that we, we store in here. We've got all of our shot glasses and our, and our wine and our liquor, but it also has soft closed drawers. Cool, right? This is my West Elm table. I've been waiting my entire life to be able to afford a West Elm table. I still can't afford this table, but I bought it anyways, and I'm really happy that I did. I also have this really cool lamp from Floss. I won this at an event. We also have this Tiffany thumbprint bowl that I'm pretty sure is an ashtray. Uh, my mother gave this to me for Christmas and she told me it was a display jar, but I'm pretty sure it's an ashtray. If you're gonna have an ashtray, make it Tiffany. Thanks, mom. I've been looking for a really cool like antique mirror for years. So I was so happy to find this mirror in a thrift store in the middle of fucking nowhere, Pennsylvania. It was only $40. I spray painted it black and I just think it is a perfect addition to this room. At first we had this mirror just like leaning against the wall because we couldn't figure out how to hang it because the walls are literally, <laughs> the walls are literally solid concrete. Yeah, that's another reason why we don't have a lot of things on the wall. We physically can't get things on the wall because they're made of solid concrete, which is great for you know not hearing your neighbors. Occasionally we, we hear a baby cry, which is an issue because we have a strict no baby policy in this apartment building. No babies allowed, Dog, dogs allowed of course, but babies by appointment only. All right, let's move on. This is our hype sign. Whenever we have friends over or we're having a pregame, we really love to turn up the hype. Tommy and I strongly believe that, that the hype is not just a thing. It's not just a sign. It's not just a, a fun pop song. Hype is a way of life and hype is the feeling that you give to others and receive yourself and, and for that reason we love to incorporate hype in our home as much as humanly possible. And so I really love that this is a reminder of that. That's it for the parlor, now let's move into my bedroom. where the magic happens. And by magic, I mean late night panic attacks. As obviously the princess of the house, I needed the true two bedroom. And by true two bedroom, I mean I have an actual closet. You heard it here first. I have an actual closet filled with shit I do not need. But of course, one closet is not enough because I have way too much shit. So in addition, I've added this rolling rack, both for storage and aesthetic purposes. All of my clothes are in color order. Uh, I love this because, you know, if you don't see it, it doesn't exist. This is my bed. It is a retro style Ikea, a full size bed straight from my childhood bedroom. Full size is the only thing that fits into this very, very tiny bedroom, but it works for me. I've got my very wrinkly eucalyptus sheets. I've got my weighted blanket here for those late night panic attacks I was telling you about. And all my dailers of course know that I mean, you gotta have the daily blanket on hand. If you know, you know. Because I've been working remotely for probably 90% of the time now, we're, we're back at full remote until further notice. I've added this ladder style desk to my room, which I feel like is perfect for this tiny ass room that I have, but it creates a separation from my sleeping section to my working section. I can go from lazy mode to work mode really easily. I have all of my books here in color order. Most of my books are probably vegan related, uh, self-help related because I need a lot of self-help. And um, those are the only two genres of books I own actually. And of course I've got my tarot cards, my, my little tarot card creativity matches because I am secretly a witch. 
You're probably wondering why I have this very colorful congratulations balloon. Clearly it does not fit the aesthetic Wait, of my- Wait, one more time. Let me zoom in instead of okay. doing that. You're probably oh, wondering- okay. You're probably wondering why I have this very colorful congratulations balloon in here. Although it doesn't fit the aesthetic of my bedroom, uh, it was given to me by my mother when I passed my interior design certification exams. It actually will not die. It's been inflated for about three months and I feel like that's some voodoo shit because balloons usually die within within a couple of hours. So I like to keep it here as a reminder of, of uh, my hard work and how much I love my mother. Oh, and also when I passed my test, I asked my brother to buy me a beer at the bar and it turns out um, I ended up paying for the bill, and then he also sent me an invoice for gas for us to go there. Let's move into Tommy's room. As you can see, he has significantly less shit than I do, so his room is a little bit nicer than mine, not mad about it. Typically, when you have an interior-facing window, you get a direct view into the building across from you, and everyone like gets to see all your... All your all your junk, but the great thing is we actually face a couple parking lots So we get a straight view to the city to Hudson Yards Sometimes at night and I like to lay in bed and I watch the people on the edge and you can see them like taking photographs It's really it's really cute. I like to sit here and pretend like I don't live directly next to Times Square <laughs> Living next to Times Square fucking sucks <laughs> And we face south, which is amazing, uh, not only for the sunlight that we get all day long, but for our plants. They, they love it here too. Let's check out the bathroom. That was the bathroom. For the creme de la creme, let's check out the kitchen. This is our kitchen. As you can see, it is a real fucking kitchen. If you live in New York City or you've ever seen a New York apartment, you know that these are extremely hard to come by. What I love about this kitchen is we have a detachable faucet. So not only can you put water in the pan that you haven't washed in four days because you, you I'm gonna get to it You can also take this out and put water in other things that are not in the sink and you really don't think that you need that But when you find out that you have it, you can never go back to it before we found this apartment We checked out a ton of apartments that literally had fucking mini fridges and zero counter space And so I just cannot physically believe that we have a full 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 fridge and a full freezer, we have a full stove, oven, I mean we can cook anything we want in here. We've got a real stove, a real sink, a real fridge, we got a microwave, we got a dishwasher in here, we got everything, we got all the bells and whistles, we have cabinet space, cabinet space, cabinet space, cabinet space, we've got cabinet space, we've got under sink cabinet space. <laughs> If you need cabin space, you come to Hell's Kitchen. We got the most cabinets in all the tri-state area. You want a big cabinet? You got it. You need an understand cabinet? You got it. You need a cabinet for your junk shit? We got it. You need a cabinet for Chipotle napkins? We got it. Do you need a full-size oven that you can put your kid in? We got it. If you need a full-size freezer that fits 40 pounds of meat in it because your boyfriend buys 40 pounds of meat, but then the next day his freezer breaks and he asks you if he can come up town and use your freezer to put all of his meat in, and you say, okay, even though you're a vegan and you hate meat and you think the meat industry is the root of all evil, but he comes anyways and he calls an Uber to your apartment, but he forgets what your apartment number is because, you know, he never comes up town anyways, and he calls it to the strip club that's on your block, and then the Uber driver asks, why are you bringing 40 pounds of meat to a strip club? And he says, because my girlfriend's there. We've got it! Thank you, Architectural Digest, for coming on this tour of my New York City apartment with me. Uh, I move every 8 to 12 months, so by the time I post this video, I'll probably be living somewhere else. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel, send me a like, a comment, send it to your friends, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye! Only at Mineola Ford! How many New York City apartments have you seen where you can fit a whole body in the oven? <laughs> you want a Ford? Come get some! You want a Hyundai that has four doors? Come get some! You want a pickup truck on Long Island even though there's nothing that you need to pick up but you voted for Trump? Come get some! It's wait, not a Smith wait, wait, deal. Wait. It's not a real deal. <laughs>